Hi again everyone, it's Tanya of Cute and Cuddly Nursery. Um, this is my set of pastels that I use. Um, there's just chalk. That's some paint that got spilt on there, it's dry. Um, anyhow, so I wanted to show how I do my creases. Um, now, I also use this for veining as well, so... But all the other colors, I don't use. Um, so, I use this color here, this color next to it, and this color three together to make my uh, crease color. And so it's like kind of a reddish um, purple. Or it is a reddish purple, I guess. Um, this one is the one I use for this light turquoise here. That's what I use for veins, if anyone's curious. So I'm going to show you what I do. Make sure my brush is free of yellow. Yeah, I think I want to come to this side. Okay, so I just kind of like really brush in each one. Um, and then I just kind of go in on my paint palette and then I fill it with water. Okay. So that's a little on the light side, so I'm going to just go over them again. It doesn't matter. There we go. It's kind of a rose color, actually. Kind of, doesn't it look rosy? I'll bring it up closer. Um, I have only purchased this set. Um, I've had it for a couple of years. And I, I've used it on and off, and so, oh yeah, I was going to bring it up close. Can you see the color there? It's like a, a rose purple-y color. It's a little dark right now, but I just want to show that. I usually use <clears throat> my, um, what do you call that? my dish of water. I've um, recently changed it so it's no longer yellow. I'm just mixing it a little bit more with water. So I'm just scooping some water. I'm not touching the top, or at the bottom, sorry, I'm just touching along the top and adding. So you want to make sure that's really blended in. Set that off. And then here's my liner brush that I showed in the last video. This works really well for um, creases. So I don't have very much time, but I wanted to show some creases, um, how I paint them. I just want to make sure she's going to be in frame. Okay, so just take a little bit, brush separated, and then I just kind of go in the crease. And then I use a sponge, um, and then I just kind of go over it. This is a dry sponge. Now, if you, I find if you use a dry sponge, this is just the top ripped off of one of my others that I used. If you use a dry sponge and go over it, it's like permanent there. Like it, it's done. That's it. I mean, it's not gonna come off. So, um, yeah, I'm just gonna go over. The others. I hope I'm in frame. I think so. I've got the camera over my shoulder, so I want it to be showing me really well. Or not showing me. Showing the baby. Here we go. Really well. So I'm gonna go over. And then I'm like, I'm rubbing it off, but it's not it's not really coming off. I don't know if you can see the creases there. But, let's see. And then, see, one of the reasons why I don't want to use this, these pastels for blushing is that it they don't come off. So if they don't come off, and I don't get the blushing, like, perfect, then it's, they're stuck. So, yeah, you can see the creases on that I know, and then I'm going to do along the lid 
there. And then I'm going to wipe it towards the crease. There we go. So that looks really good. She's looking very nice already. I'm going to do a little bit. Of course, the more water you add, um, the uh, lighter your crease color is going to be. Which is really nice. Now, if you wipe kind of hard, that'll come off a little bit. <laughs> Otherwise, it's part of her. But I, I'm loving the pastels. I know there are so many people out there that love the powders. I just couldn't get the powder to work. You know, they they don't stick very well. Like, I couldn't get them to stick at all. Um, like, I mean, some places, yeah, I mean, they'll stick um, to some spots. This is getting to be a little too dark for the areas I want to paint. Um, I'm just going to do the inside of her ear here. And so, if you use, if you use a wet sponge, it tends to blend a little better. I wish I had, I need like, hmm. <laughs> I'm just trying to think out loud what kind of tools would be nice for this. Yeah, that's a little, a um, little too light, or dark, I mean, so I'm going to add a bit more water, and then mix, and then color her ear. But if you use um, a wet sponge, it'll kind of like pick up more of the color, whereas a, a dry sponge will dry it automatically. And then it's like, it's part of the kit or whatever, it's like stuck like that. So try to keep lighter colors if you're going to use the pastels because like i said it's on there i got a little a little bit i don't really want up there on her ear so oops slip a little bit so yeah there we go i'm just like really rubbing this in to blend it. But like I said, you don't have to worry about it, um, the colors coming off. Like they're there. <laughs> if that makes sense. It's a little bit of a dark spot in the top there. Oop. And there goes my brush. That's okay. And we'll find it Oop. and grab it. There we go. Okay. So, one ear down. I still find this a little too dark. So I'll lighten it up a bit more. And it is like a rosy color now. Like, you know, it is rosy. So, I mean, sometimes, sometimes it's rosy and sometimes it's purple. So. Um, it just depends what um, color, oops, what color I've, um, you know, grabbed more of, I guess. Just want to paint up into the interior of the ear. And blend really good. So I am going to be doing a bunch more layers. So this will all um, blend in. I do want to do the inside of her ear as well. I just got to check the time really quick. Okay, I've got 10 minutes. <laughs> 10 minutes! Um, and I also want to paint.
paint her little lips as well since I have the color mixed. get any excess and then I like to do a flip I'm gonna add a little bit more water again and then do this side I think I thinned it out just a little too much because you can't really see much color here, but that's okay. So he's got really light pink lips so you can kind of see the color. And as I go along, I'll, you know, build more color anyway. This brush really likes to split. Trying to get that the excess out of there. My brush split again on me. That's okay. I got a little bit too dark, so I'm using a wet sponge. Um, if you want it to be permanent, use a dry sponge. If you want to be able to take some off, use a wet sponge. So, I hope that makes sense. Okay, so I think I'm going to leave her lips for now, um, and then I'm going to focus a bit more on her eyes, because I did not do along the crease there. The bad thing is, it's kind of hard to blend in the eye ridge there with the sponge. <laughs> there we go. So one eye has a crease and the other doesn't, so I'm just gonna let me touch the top lid. There we go. Oh, the wet sponge takes it off. The dry sponge sponge uh, sets it. And touch the corner, so I'm just gonna remove a little bit, and then I'll go in with this sponge. The blue one is wet, and this um, white one is not. I got a little bit on the outer I'm going to take off it. If I can this. Alright, here we go. What do you think? Looking good so far, I think. It's hard to tell 
at the camera angle, which weighs up and down, like she's at an angle, but anyway, I hope you can tell. Looks to me like her face is pushed in a bit. See, she's got like a, kind of reminds me of a Persian cat. I wonder if I could, when I stuff her, push her face out a little. I don't know. Is she supposed to look like that, I guess? Um, so I don't know if I want to change her. It's going to go along her nose. Let's use the blue sponge just to blend it a little bit. Here we go. Her nose. Um, where'd that red line come from? There. Okay. So... Blue splash, sponge, huh? Blue sponge to blend. All right. Let me see. Getting a little bit too far out. Oh no! I got a red line. I don't know where these red lines are coming from. I'm gonna grab a different sponge. See if I can get that off of there. And I don't want her to have a little scratch on her face. Although we're going to be using, um, what's that called? Blushing anyway. Oops, and there goes my paintbrushing. I'm always dropping my brush. Okay, so anyway, here is Summer Rain. If it'll focus on her. There we go. So far, so good. So, um, I do need to do the creases under. I don't know where the paint's coming from on here. Get rid of that blue one. Okay, hopefully. I've added a little bit of paint on the crease. It's a little light, so I'm gonna go back in and darken it a little more. Oh, there's my alarm so okay so i gotta get going but here's a little summer rain so far i hope you all just love her she's looking really good a little bit of sponge on her okay i gotta go but thank you all so much for watching and i'll be back with another video